In this video, we will see the stamp feature. First, we select a document. Here, we can preview it. And we can see one of the most sophisticated stamp cases because this file shows different pages format. We can see DIN A4 pages, landscape DIN A4. We can see the smaller and bigger pages. So once we have selected the document, in the upper right area, we can see the stamp feature. We can change the background to enhance the limits of the page. And here we could see an example of text stamp or image stamp. This time the image stamp includes a dynamic text, the user administrator name, as an example. We can move throughout the file. We can appreciate that the size of the stamp changes according to the size of each page. We can come back. We could change from automatic mode to manual mode. From this preview, we can see several predefined positions. We could change from one to another. In manual mode, we could change directly the stamp's place using the drag and drop. Here, we can appreciate that although we put the stamp out of the limits of the page, the stamp itself correct its location. We have here also a page break to a specific page. the view and we will see how the document has been stamped. As we can see on each page, we will zoom it to see it better, the stamp inserted. This time we have used a manual stamp. We delete this stamp version. To test it with another stamp. We select text stamp. We could change the default view in manual mode. This means that each user could have a set of pictures that they could use within this stamp. Here we can see how the user has used an app personal picture. We can also determine where we could place the stamp changing the background of the picture. And when we have the document placed in the suitable path, we stamp the file. This time we have applied a stamp with a personal image of the user. Let's preview the document. As we can see, the preview shows the stamp image. We come back to the original version to test with another stamp. This time we will see how we can apply the stamp not only on certain pages, for instance, on the first and second. Seventh page. We will use again a user's stamp. Here we can see that we can choose among several positions. We select one, the file is stamped. And if we refresh and preview the document, 
we can check in which pages the stamp appears. It is on the page number 1, 2, there isn't in the third page, it is again in the page number 4, either in the ninth page, but just in the pages 6 and 7. As we can see, the stamp feature offers complete flexibility to allocate the stamp in a specific areas of the document. To decide which image is stamped or the dynamic test that appears on the stamp.